Well, to begin with, um, I've enjoyed uh, spending time with these guys uh, from the 1st of August when we took the team to Italy and watching them interact with each other on the court and off the court. Uh, the different elements that it takes to have a really good team. Uh, you, need, you need some size inside. Uh, Mike Morrison, uh, Johnny Williams, uh, Ryan Pearson, uh, Paris Bennett, and Jonathan Arledge give us some size. And they, those guys are going to be responsible for really taking care of the interior part of the game offensively and defensively. And then you need shooters, guys who can make shots. Andre Cornelius, Cam Long, Isaiah Tate. And as you might have noticed, Luke Hancock has really developed into an excellent three-point shooter. And then you have guys who can distribute the ball. Cam has done that throughout his career, but now you add someone like a, a, um, a Brian Allen. Uh, then you have another guy who can, can create shots for other people. And then you're always uh, hoping to have guys who can come in, be instant offense, give you instant defense, and Vertrail Vaughns and, and Rashad Wack, I think, are very capable of doing that. So uh, watching them in August, watching us through practice, uh, a lot of the elements are there, and it's, it's showing. Uh, now the key will be us be able to uh, su sustain our focus, play with more consistency. And that really comes, I believe, from the, the leadership. And what Cam said is very true. Last year, he had four new starters around him, him and four, four guys who had never started before. And then in addition to that, he had five guys coming in off the bench who had never played before, wasn't even in college the year before. That, that's like putting nine guys on your back and expecting you to carry them through a full season. And, and it's just impossible. But as he said, this year we're going to be sending more guys, giving them more leadership and, and sharing that responsibility, which I think is not only going to help him, but it will raise the level of play of a guy like Mike Morrison. And I think you saw it tonight. Mike has added some, some weapons to his game, and I think he's going to be able to, to do some things. Ryan has been practicing very well. He's nursing a sore toe. We did not want to take the chance on him re-injuring that tonight. And then uh, it also gave us a chance to play some additional guys. Yeah, where did that come from? Huh? Looks three-pointer. <laughs> All season, that's what you got to work on, things that you're not capable of being able to do. And you know you can do it, so take that time to take it. How big of a weapon is that going to be for you guys this year? I mean, everything's going to be a weapon with the team. I mean, everybody's going to have emphasis of doing things that they're supposed to do. And when that comes into gameplay, if they do it, then we'll get the job done. Mike had 15 points in 16 minutes. You talked about him adding some weapons during the offseason. Is that the kind of play that we can come to expect during the regular season? Oh, no. I mean, this is an exhibition game. Uh, we scored 113. If, if we're going to come to expect that kind of game from Mike, we'll have to have that same kind of performance from everybody. If we average 113, we'll have a pretty good year. <laughs> But, quite honestly, for us, the games are normally played in the 60s and 70s. Uh, some maybe 50, depending on how good the defense is, maybe in the 80s, depending on how fast the game gets. We have enough guys that we can play at, at a faster pace like we did tonight, but we have to have the ability to play at the slower pace because you, you don't want to be in a situation where you're good if you run up and down, but if the other team won't run with you and they slow the game down, it'll be tough.